Um, I think it makes sense of who I am really. It's a way of serving God, it's a way of serving the community. Um, I think nearly everyone I've told that I was going for our donation kind of went, well, no surprise there. So part, one of the reasons why I was so excited to get ordained into this diocese was Bishop Tim's um, uh, original mission, sta mission statement that he, he encouraged the whole diocese to think of, which was living the mission of Jesus. And that really captured my heart and my um, excitement and my interest because that's what we've always been about. Um, and so me uh, wanting to pursue ordination here was really as a direct result of seeing that vision cast by Tim um, and moving forward into the future. And it's just really exciting to be part of so many new initiatives and projects that are moving forward across the diocese and just finding out in conversations with different ordinands and curates and clergy and um, lay people across the diocese, finding out what they're doing in their little patch of the diocese and what God's calling them to. The mixture of excitement and um, apprehension, I think. There is a lot that is unknown, which has been the case all through this journey of discernment. But underlying it all is a huge sense of excitement for what God's going to be doing, for the start of this new chapter uh, that this discernment journey has been leading up to, and this start of seeing what comes next. I've just um, done my deacon year, and it's been amazing. A deacon is someone that is supposed to lead people in mission and um, it's what I love to do. Uh, I've spent a lot of the year learning to do some of the ropes of church ministry, but also had some creative projects like um, the Mission House. We've got, uh, in our church, we've got um, some young people that have come together to live together, to pray together, to worship, um, and to, to, to embody mission in our community. And that's been a lot of fun to, to work with them and to, um, and to empower and um, to raise up young people for mission. I think stepping out of my job uh, and saying, here's a way of life, here's a vocation, here's something bigger than just uh, being an employee of a company, uh, but actually saying I stand for Christ uh, in every way, when I'm at the park, when I'm at the school gate, when I'm in a church service, I think that's the great thing about parish ministry, that we belong to an area and we seek to serve it and point it to Jesus Christ in any way that we can. It's encounters that I have with people where I can tell them that I'm a priest uh, in the Church of England and they know what that means and then that gives us opportunity to talk about well, who is this Jesus, what does he stand for and why is he relevant today. That's the key, that's why I enjoy parish ministry and that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm really excited to be um, at going to St Mary's uh, Southampton. Uh, it's a church plant that started in September last year and it has a thriving community feel. Um, when I've been down there to visit a couple of times, the, the main sense that I got from the church is that they love to be together. And that's amazing. So I'm, I'm all about family, I'm all about community, and I'm really interested to see where the church will develop into bringing the love of Christ into Southampton.